Open Clip Studio Paint, when you create a new document, make sure that it's in grayscale and then adjust the width and height to what you need. I normally keep it below 1800 by 1800, but you can make it as big as you want. Once you've done that, start drawing your signature or typing it out. You can do both as long as you rasterize and combine the layers. So here I'm gonna do both. You'll see that I'm adjusting the text to be readable still. Then I go to layers, combine the layers, and then adjust to be the, in the center of the canvas. Once I do that, I go to edit, register material, register it as an image, rename it to something I can find later on, and then I click the checkbox for use for brush tip shape. Then I save it in my brushes folder. If you don't have one, you can make one in the asset management panel. Once that's done, it's time to create your brush. So look for the subtool for decoration. This is what I just used. So look for the pattern subtool, look for heart. Once you do that, just duplicate it. I mean, you can also use any other thing, but heart is like the only solid opaque brush that I like. So click heart, um, go to subtool detail, change the brush tip shape and add the material you just registered. So type the name of the brush that you just created, the brush tip that you just created, select it, click OK. You can delete the old one if you want. And then once that's done, you can close it and test your brush. So because this is a grayscale document, it's going to show up as black and white, even if you change the color. That's normal. So if you want to change the color into a real document, just go and create a new document. Make sure to set it back to color mode and then change the brush color as you need. And that's it.